Sire. You're supposed to say, My lord! Huff, huff. Combasilo. He... Oh, we're going back to that. He has been killed in battle! <laughs> no! Gods. You're certain? <clears throat> I am. He's gone, Krom. I saw him fall myself. He's gone. <clears throat> Flavia, what happened? Wait, you're hurt! Lucina, fetch a healer at once! I'll be fine, but gods, how dare me for over for outliving that one-eyed clod, that big bald oaf, that, that. Ah! Oh gods, no! That's twice now I failed. I could crush you. I'll kill him. I'll cut that dastard Walmart down myself. I swear it before the gods! Wait. No, Flavia. For now, you need to rest and heal. When the time is right, we will avenge Basilo. You have my word. <clears throat> then know that I will hold you to it. <clears throat> Why did I let him go? <clears throat> Krom, there's something else. Something important. Basilo asked, I gave you this. Wait, is that? Oh, I, I can feel its power resonating through my whole body. It's Jules, one of the gemstones you needed. Don't ask me why in the hex name that oaf hid it from you. He always did love his surprises. Right. Whatever his reasons, I accept his gift now and gladly. It's hard to believe he's truly gone. The larger the man, the larger the void left in his wake. And Conbasila was a titan. There is no replacing him. I should have tried harder to convince him. Scouts have reported back. Walmart's army has retreated to the Imperial capital. Retreated? Right. It seems the dynasty turned cloaks are withdrawing the soldiers as well. What? I don't believe it. <laughs> Steger and Yenfei have fallen. It's no shock Walmart might pull back to regroup. And of course, the dynasts now see cracks forming in the Empire. Really? Maybe they'll reconsider which side they will fight for. Yes. Possibly, if they could see an advantage in it for themselves. With them or not, it seems a decisive battle is upon us. Aye. To think how quickly our fortunes have shifted. Yeah. We have Basilo to thank for it. For all of it, his sacrifice made it all possible. If only there had been some other way. No second guessing, Basila would have hated that. You did your duty as best as you were able, same as he. Now clear the doubts out of that clever head of yours. We're going to need it. The fate of Valm and all of our homelands Pains on this next battle. Let's make a scene. For the sake of history and all of our fallen comrades, we will bring this empire crashing down. Listen to me. Shepherds, comrades, soldiers, we make for the capital. This conqueror's reign ends now. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we unfortunately lost Yenfei to Seiri's demise after after discovering the truth of all of his actions. In this episode, 
now that we are aware of Basila's sacrifice and we have the third gemstone, it's time to keep moving forward. But first, we have a paralogue opened up to us. Paralogue 17. Before we head into there, I guess that'll be our objective for today, let's see what our supports are looking like. Uh, Robin and Frederick could be maxed out, as well as a new rank for Robin and Seiri, so let's check those two out. Hey, hey there, Freddy Bear! <laughs> uh, off to a good start and cheering me up. I've got some new cured meat for you to try. What? I'll thank you not to refer to me by that ridiculous name. And I'm no, and I'm not so gullible as to fall for your bear jerky trick twice. <sighs> oh, I thought you were serious about getting over this, Frederick. Look, I'm not a monster. I prepared a whole series of meats in order of, of gaminess. We could take it slow. Forgive me. Well, I suppose I did ask for this. Yeah. All right then. We'll start with chicken, then pork, then beef. Right. Hmm. <sighs> excellent so far. Next is mutton. It starts to get a little tricky here. <clears throat> um, this is manageable. Wow. You're doing great. Okay, this one's venison. But chopper. Right. By which I mean bear. <laughs> oh, by the gods, I'm dying, dying. <coughs> oh, it's so dark. So crom that. Oh, stop exaggerating. Otherwise, you might as well die here. You won't last long on the battle field. Whoa, I just had intense deja vu. Indeed. I said the same to you once upon a training session. And I was right. If I succumb to this, I can't well protect everyone on the front lines. My body... What the root? He actually says that? My body is ready, Robin. The next sample, if you please. You talked yourself back into it? Impressive. And perhaps a little disturbing. Oh well, whatever works. Let's finish this, Frederick. Open wide. So, there's still an S for them. It's grayed out. Like, there's still an S here for Frederick. Does that mean... Is there a different S rank conversation for them that doesn't involve marriage? I'll probably have to look that up to see if that's true or not. Because they're still here, but like I feel like you could only get S ranks with... Because you can see, Robin only has S ranks with men. So it's in reference to marrying them, I would assume. She got an S rank with Krom, so like she can't marry anyone else. But I wonder if there's a different S rank conversation, just like a best friend conversation that could happen instead. I'm not sure. I don't think there is, but I'll have to look it up to be sure. I don't know how many times I said sure in that last uh, little tangent right there, but... Uh, let's just listen to Robin and Sayri. Oh. Hello, Sayri. Right. Ah, uh, Robin. Hey. You have a moment? I was wondering if you might tell me more of Chosen. No. Aye, gladly. What shall we speak on today? Perhaps you'd be careful to sample a cup of Chosen-style tea. Huh? That doesn't look like any tea I've ever seen. Nay. We use different leaves than different utensils, and even drink unlike you. Chosen takes tea very seriously. There are entire schools de devoted to the art. Um, Goodness, that seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? <sighs> Perhaps, but to, to the devotees of teaism, even a lifetime of study is not enough. Not to worry, though. I'm not one of them. Now permit me boil the water. Right. Take this with care. The cup is fearsome hot. Oh, thank you. This is exciting. Right, here it goes. <laughs> bitter! Gods, but it's bitter! Is it supposed to taste like that? Aye, and I again. Once you grow used to it, anything else seems as water. It goes especially well with sweet and small cakes. Can't you put sugar in it like we do with our tea? Nay. You may do as you will, but in Chosen we drink plain. <sighs> Your people have a truly hearty palate, though I suppose if you grow up with it... Right. Am I to take it that you are not fond of our tea? Um, I just wasn't expecting it is all. 
I've never tasted anything so bitter in my life. But it does have a pleasant aftertaste. Who knows, with a bit of practice. I'm pleased you found the experience interesting, if not wholly pleasant. You must let me teach you more about my culture when time permits. Yeah. I'd like that very much. Hopefully that makes Sari's life a little bit brighter, knowing that she's not alone, despite all that she's lost. Up next is Olivia in pain. I have no idea where this conversation could lead, but I'm excited to find out. Hey, Pain. Hmm. What do you want, Man Spawn? <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean. Never mind. Bye. Please. Wait. You. You must have wanted something, or you wouldn't have approached me. Well. <laughs> well. Out with it. What is your complaint? C complaint? Oh gosh, no! I don't have a complaint. Right. Then state your business quickly. I, um, was just, just wondering, th that is to say, well, it's, it's a bit silly, but f what do you think of me? Good question. I do not think of you. Oh. Right, yeah, I suppose that was kind of a strange question. I, it's just that I feel so useless most of the time, so... No. You are not. <sighs> you, you really think so? Because hmm. you do not trust me? You think I am lying? No. Oh gosh, no! Yes. I find your search for reassurance puzzling. If you are, if you are here, then clearly you are needed. If you were useless, Crom would have left you by the side of the road somewhere. Yes. I guess. Well. Are you perhaps laying the groundwork for a future failure? <laughs> what? No, I would never do anything like that. Wouldn't you? Intriguing! I didn't say the word that I always say! But I am intrigued is as to whether as to where that will go in the future. Up next is Oh, we got two ranks. One for Cherish and Noe, one for Cherish and Laku. Wasn't expecting that. How's this? I'm not doing it too hard, am I? That's just perfect. Mm, I had a, I had no idea you were so good at back massages. Oh, I thought they were fighting Sorry. still. When you're as old as I am, you pick up lots of stuff. Anyway, I'm still really sorry I hit you so hard with my tail. I didn't think you'd go flying like that. Who are you? A little to the left, please. Ah, that's it. And don't worry, this isn't the first time a dragon smacked me. Aww. You know what I think? I think you made up that story about fighting Minerva. You had just said so, so I wouldn't feel bad about playing with you. Are you accusing me of spreading falsehoods, Noe? What? No, but... Well, maybe a little. Okay, lift your head and turn. Oh, my. Oh, that feels good. Oh, and see that burn scar on my shoulder? Minerva did that when I captured her. Whoa. You got hit by Dragonfire and survived? The thing is, when I first met Minerva, she was very weak. After that first puff, her fire was barely enough to singe my hair. If she'd been fully healthy, our fight would have turned out very differently. <laughs> and after that first time, you grew to trust each other, huh? Gosh, you're so lucky to have a friend like Minerva. I'm super jealous. <laughs> She's a good girl to have around, that's for sure. Well, that was cute. And finally, Longku and Cherish. I'm really excited to show this one off. If I may. Say, Longku. Right. What? Well, this may be a strange question, but did you grow up in the slums, living in the streets? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Then it must have been a different Longku. Must have been. <laughs> but you did know a young girl named Kairi, did you? you? Where did you hear that name? Hmm. Huh. It was you that they told me about. What? Who is they? What is the meaning of all this? Huh. I met Kairi's parents. A while back, while I was in Ragnaferox with Minerva. 
I saved them from a pack of bandits outside the town. They told me that their daughter had been killed by a very same outlaws. Later I heard a young boy named Blancu was with her at the time, and that he fought like a demon in a vain attempt to protect her. Naturally, when I was introduced to you, I started thinking. Right. I fought, yes, but in the end, it was she who died protecting me. Her mother and father hated me. They blamed me for her death. I was a homeless boy from the slums, and I stole their only daughter. No, no. Actually, about that... No. Enough. I can't bear to speak of it. I would like to be alone now. Wait, Long Ku! There's more to the tale than you know. A lot of the communication sessions with Long Ku go into his difficulty with women and how he feels uncomfortable with them. Some of them help him feel more at ease with what happened in the past, but with Cherish, it's a bit of a different case, and I'm excited to show it off once we get them all ranked out. But now, let's see, where are we going? We have a paralog opened up to us, so let me just check my equipment real quick, and I'll see if we're ready to go. Okay, gave Frederick a killer lance in case he needs to use that later on. Other than that, I think we're good to go. We got another paralog opened up to us, wasn't expecting that so soon, but let's see if this will be possibly useful to us on the road ahead. This is paralog 17. <sighs> the air is sweet here. <clears throat> it's so calming. Right. Makes you want to just flop down and take a huge nap, doesn't it? <sighs> Tempting. Hmm. Odd. It seems like anywhere else to me. No. This is Naga's Cradle. It was said that the Divine Dragon once called this place home. Here, the voice will enact a holy rite to commute Naga and regain her power. Um, Lady Tiki. Huh? Lady Tiki? Fie. Pray be silent, my lady. The voice is currently performing the rite. In doing so, she will draw the divine dragon's power from the land unto herself. <laughs> Forgive me, I didn't realize. I thought she was sleeping. <sighs> she looks so peaceful. What do you think she sees? Does she perchance dream? Hey. I imagine she... Uh-oh, is that what I think it is? Seiri, Lucina, enemies approach us from the south. We'd better get ready, or the voice here is in for a rude awakening. Get it? Awakening, Fire Emblem? Yeah, okay, whatever. So, we have to protect Tiki from getting destroyed while she's trying to reclaim all of her power. We still cannot have Sumio with us, that's unfortunate. Uh, but oh well. Let's see what we're gonna do. View the map. Got sparkly workies right there. I think this is a bit of a different mission. I think enemies will continuously show up, and we just have to survive a certain amount of turns. So plan accordingly, I suppose. Um, this might actually be a good chapter to not do, not to not pair up. Because just having more people around Tiki, the better, possibly. Uh, let's just see. I remember this being a really difficult chapter for me back in the dizzy day. Let's see if I could fare any better this time around. It begins. The voice is defenseless in this state. We must become her shield until the light is complete. We await your strategy, Robin. Make us a wall of steel. No, we just have to survive. But there is no boss. Enemies will just... Oh, okay. There is a boss right there, but... Do you defeat the boss and they'll start showing up? Because I remember them just having, like, enemies upon enemies upon enemies upon enemies upon enemies. So, I think we do need to get someone down there and destroy that dude. But the others, I feel like we should just have them stay here. So, who could I trust to not get hit? Sari? Yep. Uh... 
Do I want you going with her? Robin and Sari. I guess so. And then we got... The question is, do I want to pair up other people? They're stronger when together, but it might be risky. Just because it gives us less people, I guess, if you know what I mean. Uh, I guess we'll risk it. And as for the sparkly warklies, part of me doesn't even want to go for them, honestly. I know we could reach this one just right now, so I guess I could go for that one. Uh, phooey. Do I want Noe to be with anyone? Probably. Uh, she's good with Tharja, so I guess we'll just pair them so they could benefit from each other's stat boosts. It is a superior lance. That's cool. I guess we'll have Anna kind of sneak down here. I'll leave the big groups to protect Tiki. Probably don't want to have him right up against her because then we, that gives us even less room to uh, move around with. So, who do I want to be moving down? Sayri is the one going down. Everyone else just stay put, I guess. Let's just pair up with no one. Let's get her with Frederick. I guess we're going to wait it out then. This is a very intense chapter. It can be very stinking annoying, but the reward for it is very, very worth it. Of course, Ally does nothing. It's just uh, her doing the divination, or whatever it's called. Uh, not the divination seance, my god. Just got horrible flashbacks of stinking Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. I didn't think it was possible for me to hate a game more than Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, or an Ace Attorney game more than the fourth one. But oh boy, Spirit of Justice somehow makes it happen. That was not worth going over here for. Uh, let's defeat them before they even get over to her. 1 HP. 0 HP. Hooray! Booty up! Enemies down! And it can be all the time better. It's like, booty up, taken down. I guess. I don't know. And yeah, she's just like, sign away. Like, why are you so stupid, man? Spawn. Uh, Lucina and Krom stay here. We'll have Long Ku get rid of this guy, but he can't, so Cherish? Cherish can. With either weapon, that's cool. Uh, I'll use this one, I guess. Don't do that. Uh, avoid that. Avoid Parkinson's. 7% uh, hitting possibility. I don't know if that's because of, like, the terrain or the... Our stats, I don't know what causes that, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I should attack one of them while I'm here, I guess. As usual, if Robin or Krom goes down, then we are done for, so... A uh, good idea to not have uh, Robin in the front. Okay. I guess that'll be it for now. Uh, let's... Go and do that, and then that. Enemy phase, what do we got? Oh jeez, oh jeez. They're not even going for us uh, specifically. Like They're not even bothering attacking us because they only want Tiki. So you can't even benefit off of uh, counterattacks, which is really bad. Uh, so in that case, we might want to uh, form a barrier around her. Uh, let's see what we got. We could put... Oh, this is stinking terrifying. Let's do... This. Uh, this. I'm just trying to figure out, like, how grids work. This. And unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, we could reach her. Uh, we'd have to separate if we want to have a perfect barrier right here and now, and they could reach her in this next turn, so let's separate just for uh, right now. And let's see if we get rid of some of them. Okay, that works. This is a very sick and intense fight, so I apologize if I get kind of quiet throughout it. It's just gotta concentrate and panic. Midnight does best that 
And another level up for Tharja, which is nice. And I definitely can't wait till we... I hope we could get to buy Nosferatu's in some location before the game ends. Uh, they're not going to be attacking us, so... I just need to go after that boss. I guess that's it. Oh, Anna's right down here. Uh... She only has a killing edge? Are you serious? Uh... Yeah, because I've been, like, trying to be more fluent with what uh, weapons I give them. Like, I'm just trying to give them different variety, I guess. Uh, I hope you could dodge it. 70% chance. That's good. Thank you. I was kind of hoping for a critical, but oh well. It's also nice to just have backup weapons. Oh, they can attack from a distance. A tomahawk. That's not good. Uh, thankfully, Liz is a healer. I didn't even think of that. Uh, ranged weapons. Thankfully, she could dodge in her sleep. But that's not good. Don't want that. No, can you stop doing that, please? Oh my god. Oh my god, she had a 16% chance and you hit us? Ugh. Doesn't make any stinking sense. Does it go a 60% chance? He's probably gonna be fine. No, of course not. Get those stats at least. Uh, I need Lissa to heal her immediately. Lissa and Anna are healers. Keep that in mind. It's your percentage 17. I swear to god, if you hit her, I will be so stinking mad. Thank you! Get rid of this person. Thank you. Oh, nice pain booty right there. Because this enemy's a pain in the booty. Oh, whatever. Uh, that line is deserving of me having pain up at 99 experience and not actually getting the level up. Alright, Cherish and Lanku, could you survive this? Thank you for dodging. And thank you for killing that thing. Uh, who we got next? Just these guys going upwards. And to the left. And to the right. And up. And to the rally thing of some kind. Still more of them. I don't think they disappear until you get rid of the boss. Alyssa, uh, where are you? Uh, Anna, can you heal from a distance? I mean, does it feel like you can? We can't diagonally heal. You can't diagonally heal. I could put Olivia with pain and have Anna use the staff to heal Tiki. Only reason I'm doing that is because, um,. I don't know, I guess I don't really have a good reason for it. It's just like, don't want to switch Lissa out to the front and have them kill her right away. But she's still not fully healed, and it's really risky to do that. See, so this might be a good reason as to why you don't want to pair people up, because... Oh my god. Um, you just want to get as many turns in as possible. Like, you can't attack any of them. Okay, we'll attack this one at least. They're the ones with the ranged weapons, though, that's for sure, because we do not want them attacking her, even when we're trying to protect her and, like, we're all surrounded and all that jazz. So that is very lame. Uh, who else do we got here? Pain can't attack anyone without moving, but she's not guarding anyone specifically. She's not guarding one of the four corners, so she could move if I want her to. Uh, here's Tharja. Um, who's got the ranged weapons? Tomahawk. Tomahawk. A spear. Those spears are annoying. It's a tomahawk and a tomahawk. I'll give her these two, I guess. Booty up! And take him down. Thank you for guarding. And thank you for killing them. That level up that you very so, uh, not really need it pain because you're kick butt no matter what, but you very much deserve it is what I was trying to say. Uh, what do we got? Uh, let's go with Tharja, I guess. And we'll do that. Just get rid of all the ranged attackers. Also, standing at these angles is very useful. I know I do. 105 damage. I'll be very shocked if I get this on the first try. I didn't really think of separating everyone, but maybe I could do that right now. 
But then that, that leaves Krom out in the open. These guys are powerful. There's a lot of them. So, but he's in the back, so not a lot of people can get to him. So many options. Uh, they have a silver lance. They could attack. They get her right here, but I might just have to risk that. Eleven. Nine. Nine. And then with Robin, it is zero. She could take him out. Let's go for it. Naga's wrench. Kill the voice. There was hope. No hope for the vocal performance, though, because I'm the worst. Voice. America's Got Talent is better, buddy. Suck it. Level up. Peter, 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 Pew. I can tell I've gotten stronger. So please tell me that means we're not gonna get any more stinking dudes showing up. Hopefully that's what that means. Uh, you guys just hang out, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Oh, he's going for Tiki. Okay, that's one. At least when they all group up like that, they can't all hit her from a distance, so I don't have to worry about that. But still, they're way too powerful for comfort. Oh, that's not good! One more hit and she's dead! But this might be 68%. No, she's dead. Okay, so first off, getting rid of the boss quickly does not stop the reinforcements from appearing because I went ahead and this time around I put Robin with Cherish and got them to get over to him within the first turn or the second turn and these guys still kept on coming but finally after like three rounds I think, three or four rounds, they finally stopped so now these are all the enemies we need to take care of and this is the formation I went with. Just have two guys uh, on here and here, then go uh, diagonal, have two of them right here, and then three right here to, I guess you could just have one right here, and then these two are just sort of for a bonus. And then I have our healer and Krom back in here. So that is what I'm doing and in order to have the ultimate uh, wall of Tiki protection. And hopefully it's going to work out for me this time, because that was kind of unfortunate that uh failed that other time, but it is... A lot more effective for this chapter only to uh, not pair your characters up all, all that much because you need the character spaces all filled out. Park Thunder broke, unfortunately, but we still got other attacks we could use. Uh, let's go with... That's not going to be good. Let's go with that, I guess. So we have uh, Tharja and Pain. We have like also a bunch of unlikely pairs uh, because of this, so I, I know I could have planned it out to... Where the people standing next to each other would have had the most benefit from their stat buffs, but I didn't really think that far through. But whatevs. Uh, Anna and Olivia are low on HP. That's unfortunate. Anna can't use uh, Psychic or Psychic or Psychic? Psychic? I don't know. She can't use that because it's a stinking uh, C rank uh, thingy and she's only a D rank mage, so. I would have to move her in order to... I could technically heal... I could move Seiri up here and heal Olivia. Uh, have Anna and then have... Do that. I, I'm gonna do that. If you understood a word I just said. I'm gonna heal Olivia. Uh, get very close to a level up for Anna. That would be awesome. Move Seiri right there. Uh, that shouldn't affect anything too much. Uh, we'll have Alyssa use Psyik on Anna. Heal her from a distance. Get that experience. Level up. And finally, um, our ranged attacker, Starja, already got her turn used. Noe. Um, either this guy or this guy. Well, Olivia can't get rid of this guy. She can't even do damage to him. This guy's low on HP. 
Uh, let's see what happens if I do this. I don't think it'll be the greatest idea, but like, maybe Frederick will jump in and help us finish him. Of course not. Why is it like when I always bank on that and never happens? Uh, I could move Longku around, I guess. Just risky business. Let's have uh, Olivia do this first. Let's see if I was hoping Longku would jump in, but of course not. That doesn't happen. Because Longku's a stinking weenie. I could move him and get rid of this guy, but that would open up Olivia to more damage. This formation has been working well for me, so I'm going to stick with it. And did I move Robin already? Yes. Okay, we're good. Now just race for impact. Okay, no damage. But thank you. Finally, Long Ku helps with a counterattack. I guess we didn't lose that much because she didn't take damage, so not all that bad. We have to wait a little bit. Uh, she learned Vantage. Oh, that's cool. She gets to attack sometimes before uh, the counterattack happens. So she counterattacks the counterattack, a counter counterattack. How many times am I going to say that in this second LP? I don't know. Get rid of that guy. This is working a lot more smoothly than it did previously. I was sort of considering uh, going back here later, like not doing this paralog right away because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. But just don't have him paired up and you should be fine. Okay, level up for Cena. Or for Anna, excuse me. She's level 10. I could change her if I want. Oh, well, I can't upgrade her because she's already maxed out in her class because Trickster is a maxed out thief, I believe. It's a type of thief. I could possibly just change her class entirely, though, if I want to give her something new. Question is, do I want to? I don't entirely know yet, so let me think about it. I know I'm kind of running out of time to think about these things, though. This LP's coming to an end. It so, went by so fast. It actually went by so slow. Remember when I thought I would get this LP recorded in December or something like that? Yeah, that didn't happen. It's March now. Uh, I will not feel stinking, like, ahead of schedule until, like, everything's done for all of your... 7 and the first LP of year 8 just because they're so stinking editing intensive oh boy like so many singing hurdles I need to get over and I know I'm only working on my schedule so uh, I feel like I've gone on this rant before and I feel like I say that way too much because I just repeat too many things you know just after 70 stinking LPs you just sort of run out of things to say it happens I apologize but it's just something to be expected at some points level up he, he, he. I think uh, Tharja is a fan of her new fire power. You can do it. You can do it. Yay. That and that and that. Hooray. The real superpower of teamwork. Uh, next we get this character. Open for business. Open for business. I could be skipping around, but I don't really want to. I kind of like watching it all play out. I like watching those criticals. Uh, Cher's got a critical off camera. I think that was her first critical. I could be wrong, though. It was just cool to see. Uh, what do we got? Vantage! Yeah, way to go, Sayri! And Anna, these two are just a power duo. I should remember to pair them up more often, even though they don't really benefit from one another. It's just thinking awesome to watch them a slay booty. And then we gotta go through all the characters on the right side. Hey. My steel is yours. My dragon is yours, I guess. Uh, this guy. So the only reason they're attacking us specifically is because they can't reach Tiki, so that's the only way they'll attack us willingly without having Tiki be gone already. Though I'm sure you already knew that I need to explain. I'm just filling the commentary void, as I tend to do, in one way or another. Got one more. Going for Anna, but it's from a distance, so she can't counterattack. Of course, you hit me with a 23% chance of a ally player. Let's go. Uh, no one else down here. Hmm. Do I dare get the treasures? One was like a reeking box, and the other one was something else. Probably not worth it, but there's not that many left, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And she can't even reach it because I have Robin in front. Uh, I'm gonna forget about the items. I don't care. Uh, let's go and get rid of this guy. 
Yeah, this went by so much more smoothly. I, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I remember this being a singing nightmare to do first time around. Uh, I don't know if I came up with this strategy though, or if it was just like a pair up problem. Like I was always pairing him up or whatnot, or whatever. Uh, let's have uh, Lucina attack this one, I guess, because you're the only one to reach them. Do that. There we are. Uh, if we can finish them all off in this round, that'd be nice. I might be able to if I play my cards right. I'm gonna hold off on you. Uh, we'll have Olivia can't KO them unless Longku jumps in. Hey, Longku, want to help us finish this guy off? Oh, thank you! And I like that backflip that Olivia's doing right now. Awesome. I think we're actually going to finish it off this turn so we can break our uh, wall a little bit. She learned some new steps, which is great. Uh, let's see. Got a couple more. Uh, okay, so he's not going to get taken down that easily. Maybe I don't want to break it just yet. Or maybe Longku could just prove me wrong and do a critical. Okay. Are you done? Next is... Got one, two, three, four. Depends on our reach, I guess. Uh, let's go do that. I think we're going to do this turn, so... Ready to finish this off, and you get a very sinking great reward for doing so. So as you saw before, I was able to continue the paralogue even though Tiki had been defeated, but you don't get the reward if you do it that way, so it's kind of like with that stupid village where you don't get a reward if you let all the villagers die, but they're all stupid and annoying, the reward was just items, so it was not even worth it. But this reward, however, is incredibly worth it, so you best better keep Tiki alive, god darn it, Bobby. Uh, let's go with this, or if I have... Tharja. Well, they don't have communication, such so as it's not uh, required. Not all that necessary, but whatever. Go do that. Just head bottom. Or was it a butt head? I don't know. <laughs> a butt head. I'm a child. And two more. Let's go with Frederick. Oh, he can't want to KO people anymore. Frederick. How the mighty have fallen. Actually, wait, his weapon might change things. Uh, Beast Killer is the best bet. Let's go for it. Uh, so for critical. Uh, let's go with. Could Sari or Tharja could reach that one. So Anna, go over here. Attack this guy. Stay alert. And of course, now Lunku jumps in, but whatever. And finally, oh, Lunku's killing edge broke. No, but he already has another one, so it's fine. And last but not least, this final Risen is defeated! And Tiki is totally safe. Longku and Olivia are the MVPs. Are you unharmed, Lady Tiki? Thank you. Yes. I apologize for the delay, but the right is bone fruit. Mm -hmm. You've taken the power of the Divine Dragon? Yes. Some of it. It's strange. This power had always isolated me. Many were the days I swept alone. Cursing the charge placed before me. Lady Tiki. <sighs> but now my power has a purpose, and the world needs it to avoid ruinous future. And so I shall offer it freely. Allow me to join you. But don't you see? Are you certain? <laughs> I am. I have had quite enough of living in solitude, thank you. Besides, I've always longed to better know this world. Now I could help you save it. If you manage to protect Tiki, she will join your party. With the voice on our side, there isn't anything we can't overcome. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're going to continue on with the main story, along with an old ally from an old war. 
This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.